Before I would begin the reading, I would like to thank my dear friend, one of my best friends, Barbie Thaxton, for these beautiful rings. She gave me this gold one and the purple one. I love them. Thank you so much. She knows how much I love Elvis Presley. <laughs> Things are going to go, can go either way. You cannot predict this. There are so many people involved. There's no way to predict because it's all about free will and choice. And when one person changes their mind or decides to take a different route, it affects the whole, it's like uh, dominoes, dominoes, you know, just one domino and they all go, you know, down. So, uh, it is free will, free choice. God is moving and shifting the path he wants. So... God is at work here. He's in control. Oh, God is working through man. When I say man, men and women, people, um, to get the results that he wants and the timing that he wants it to happen. Um, he is doing this by planting seeds of courage and faith and strength into people's hearts and souls. That's how he's doing that. He is not blessing the wicked. God is blessing his people who humble themselves and people who pray to him. These people will survive the mess that's going on. Trump, he is relishing in the attention from followers. This is for me channeling, okay? So, so this is strictly for entertainment purposes and it's just my opinion. Um, Trump is relishing in the attention from the followers, also being right about everything. He's sort of having this, I told you so, moment. <laughs> Naturally, you know, you, you can't really blame him. Um, he does want to return as soon as possible to the presidency, but he has to get affairs in order uh, with his finances and uh, health. He also has some health stuff going on. I felt like when I saw him at CPAC, I had the feeling, and a friend of mine from YouTube did also. She has a channel, Silent Whispers 59, Tammy, and we both agreed that we felt and thought he looked as if he'd had a stroke. So, that's just our intuition. And he did look a little stiff and he was holding on to the podium the whole time. Normally, he likes to use his hands a lot, move his hands, because he he's moves when he talks, you know. Um... Okay, so the timing has to be right. So he can't just come back anytime. It has to be the right timing. If it, if not, it's not going to work. It's going to just um, get thrown out like like what Biden is doing. Biden is doing so quickly in office right now. There's so much going on behind the scenes that we can't see and don't know about with Trump and the Republicans. Um. And the Democrats as well. Um, okay, so I have a note here. Biden referred to the video of the first debate. I'm going to attach the link for that also. Or if I can download it, I'll put it in this video. But I had a prophetic um, image during that first debate of Biden winning the presidency and crumbling he turns into a statue real stiff and shortly after getting in office and he crumble cracks and crumbles and dissipates into nothing so a lot of people predicted that trump would be back by march 4th well that didn't happen today is the uh, fifth i believe or sixth it's after the fourth so I did watch a, a man that was a professional, uh, like a numerologist in numerology, and he predicted that March, at first March 4th, but then he realized there was something that made it go to April, April 4th. Um, it really depends on how things move during this time. If not, it will take longer. Could be quicker or longer. Okay, the corruption is like an overgrown path. 
people can't see the path anymore and they feel hopeless and they don't know how to act or even where to start. God's people must come to him and ask for help and guidance and he will show them. He will show them the way and give them the tools that they need to clear the path. Like any garden, they will need to keep a watch over it. The weeds will creep back in and if not removed quickly, will overgrow the path again. Now the last thing that I picked up was on my channeling and writing down on this paper was the, the words over and over again, God loves Israel. He loves these people. And I picked, wrote it several times. God loves Israel. He loves the people. So there it is. I'm saying it. Thank you for watching and God bless and we'll talk soon.